you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is supposed to Peter Daniel, by the special grace of God. You are watching me in heaven and air life program, the one we used to do every Monday to Friday. Heaven and hell every Monday to Friday by the special grace of God. Uh, by the grace of God, the uh, revelation I want to share today that is very, very vital and is uh, important and so sudden. I pray the Lord God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's pray, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, internal rock of age, the living life, God, the almighty, the living, powerful God. We bless you because you never fail us. We are glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh God, that as we are going into your world, you will open our eyes. You will give us the understanding. To, 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 to do the things of the spirit uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I ever stand against every power that wants to stand against the word of God in the name of Jesus. And I ask you, Lord, to open the eyes of the people to see the things of the spirit and their ear to hear you, O oh Lord, and their mind to understand the things and the mystery of your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you, everyone, in the mighty name of Jesus. I greet you all in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I want to share with you some of the encounter I have with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As I always tell you that there are several encounters I'll be having with Jesus Christ. But uh, this is the one that God permit me to say today is a big message to the church. Though it's so sudden, but it's also a message of a strange and a serious kind of uh, 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 rebuilding. You see, understand? Now, uh, let me go straight to the revelations. About some years ago, I was in my room. I was in my room. I was sleeping in my room. Suddenly, I just hear a tapping, pa, 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 on my bed. I hear a tapping, ta, ta, ta. And when I hear a tapping, I just saw a, a man. This man is a very white man. And uh, he said, he said to me, he said, the Lord wanted to see you. That's what, he, that's what he said to me. He said, the Lord wanted to see you. As he said so, immediately my spirit came out of my body. On my bed, the same house, everything. My spirit came out of my, of, of my body. As he came out of my body, uh, my spirit, I stood. As I stood, I then I went to go and meet the Lord Jesus Christ he is already in the parlor with one angel by the right side, with one angel by the right side. And uh, the left angel that came with him was the one that came to wake me up. So when he wake me up, my body was there, but my spirit came out. So when he comes, he was already sitting on my chair in my house, in the parlor. So when I come to meet him, I saw him. He was already sitting. I said, Lord, I lead him. I said, Lord, you want to see me? I was told you want to see me. That's what I said. As I said that, he, be, he looked at me and began to cry. Ah. So it was, a, it was a serious thing that I began to like wonder that, why is he crying? He began to cry. He was just crying. I said, why are you crying, Lord? The tears was running so serious that I was, I was feeling the pain inside my bone. I was feeling it inside my spirit. I was feeling it inside every part of my body. I remember that day that that day was the morning of Sunday. Sunday morning. So when he wake me in that night, it was a it was Saturday stroke with Sunday morning. I said, why are you crying, Lord? The tears were so severe. 
his tears was coming out with a serious sweating. He said, my son, he said, see that. I see that, but I was shaking. His tears was touching my heart and pieces in my heart. He said, the church has disappointed me. The thought I die for has disappointed me. I said, ah. He now said, he said something to me. He said, look at CAC. I make Christ apostolic church. He said, look at CAC. I'm no more among them. I have left them because they disobey my instructions. I was so, I was still, you know, I was very surprised as he was saying that. He said, Babalola, who is a servant in my son, there are some instructions I gave to him to give to the followers, the members, the pastors. He said, after he died, the disobey everything that he has sent Babalola to give him. And he mentioned them to me what he uses, the uses to disobey, I mean, what the CAC do in disobedience to his commandment. He said to me, he said, I told Joseph Babalola to tell them never to use go, go, this talking drum, all this talking drum. The one that used to use, it's commonly among the Yorubas. They call it talking drum in English, but it's called go, go in Yoruba. I told them that this drum is demonic, that they should not use it, but they disobey. It began to give me different kind of things of what they are doing. And among them is that he said they are raising money, raising fund, raising fund in the church. So I want to tell you that any church, that every service, all what you know how to do is to raise fund, fund, money, money is all about you know. That church cannot make heaven. Let me tell you something. Every church needs financial support. We all need financial support. I need it. But I will never raise it. I need it. Ministers need it. Church need it. But that is not the message God gave to us. Jesus was shedding tears because there are some things he says, I'm still going to tell you, that shake me, shake me. I mean, it shake me. He was crying because CAC people, pastors, they will, they, they will really be careful. They will really be careful. Because every instructions have been disobeyed. Worldliness has been attached to their ministry. Hearing and trust that the things of the world, they have started using it. When you see the, their leader, their women leader, they are all, you will see them wearing clothes, expensive clothes. When First Peter chapter 3 says, and First Timothy uh, chapter 2 verse 9, he said we, shall, we should not wear expensive clothes. You will see them wearing sunshine gold clothes. Diamond clothes, which are totally worthy against the word of God, which are totally worthy. This is a serious thing that God is so pains in the heart, seeing them be. Not only that, you will see when you get to Ikejara Keji, their prayer camp, you will see where they are putting water in the image. They, they, they make an image of a post where God called him and they will be putting water, putting anointing there for days. Some will spend the water will spend one month, everything like that. And they are, they are taking that place 
as a idolatry center. Idolatry center. Put the anointing there. All these things is making God very angry against these people. Is making God, they are making the place a center of idolatry. You will see people, people putting money there, putting money, putting money in where God called Baba Lola because they make a name there, surround the place as an idolatry place for people to bring water for him. Ah, this is demonic and witchcraft. Jesus was so sad. I am not trying to add anything to what I'm saying. I'm not trying to lie to you. I'm telling you reality. Jesus came to my house. I'm telling you reality or true thing I saw with that lie. He was shedding tears. Water was rushing from his eyes. He was so sad. The practice they are practicing in CAC is so, 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 so annoying to God. God said that they have left the instructions he gave to Joseph of Allah. The leader opposed to Joseph of Allah, he has, he has lost the instructions. Then now, if you get there, you play the kind of kaisara. When is church going to rise up? When is church going to rise up back? When is it going to rise up back? When? When is church going to rise up? What are we going to do? I'm warning you, sir. You might say, who is this one talking again? Sir, it doesn't matter. But it's a warning. <laughs> Share this message. Let you get to all serious members. If you see the way the pastors in that church, prophets, their leaders are treating themselves, treating themselves as if they are God. Don't forget. Judgment await every man. <laughs> It is appointed on the man to die once. After that, is judgment. Do forget. It is appointed for a man to die once. After that, is judgment. Even though you feel like you are something today, don't forget, you will die one day. Opposed to Timothy Olu, only about that day. A man of God who had died, he said, the first time he first died, I will remember what he said in this He said when he died, because he died and God sent him back, then he later died. It's the first time he died, he said, when they get to the gate of heaven, the angel in the gate of heaven did not allow him to come inside. When he was begging the angel, ah, what did he do? He said, the angel said, Jesus Christ is not happy with him. Babalola is not happy with him. He now said, Ah, what did he do? He said, As the angel was talking to him, Babalola came out and said, Ah, Timothy, how are you? How is everything? Timothy said, I'm my father, my father in the Lord. He said, I'm fine. And Babalola asked, He said, We are the prophets I left on earth. We are the, are they not dying? Timothy begin to mention their name. I said, My bodies have died. My bodies have died the year of this. My bodies have died the year of this. My bodies have died the year of this. After he mentioned powerful, 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 powerful prophet. Barola mentioned, uh, answered and tell him, He said, ah, They died? I didn't see them in heaven. Yeah, we are there. If you didn't see all these powerful prophets, Prophet who can command the dead, dead pregnant woman with a child to come back to life. They, they can talk to three and the three will try it immediately. 
They didn't make it to heaven. See, where are they? They meet there in hell. Some of you see as a pastor, anger is your problem. Small thing you have raised cause. Humility is far away from you. You are allowed to be calling you Baba. You command it that it's compulsory for them to call you. Those who did not lead them before you to talk to you is a taboo. You'll be hungry. You'll be angry. They must lead that to talk to you. Who are you? Jesus was shedding tears. He was crying. After that, as he was crying, I was also very weak. He now said, do you know something? I said, yes, sir. He said, do you know that where you are staying now, the old church that is surrounding you, all your state, the old church surrounding you, none of them, from the pastor to the member, none of them is qualified to make heaven. That one, you are surprised. He said, none of them is qualified to make heaven. And he said something, he said, he said, I have left their church. He began to mention their fault one after the other. Listen to me. That you are having dream doesn't mean that God is with you. That you, God is, is showing you some things in your dream. That doesn't mean that God is with you. That you are prophesizing and it's coming to pass. That doesn't mean God is with you. Don't forget. Let it be written in your ears. That God is using it for science and wonder. That doesn't mean God is with you. The only thing a man can do that may God is with him is for him to live according to the way God lives. Don't you hear the Bible? He said, on that day, they will tell me that I will prophesy in your name. We preach in your name. We do signs and wonder in your name. Miracle galore, we do it in your name. What we say to them, the power of the workers of iniquity. Be careful so that you don't lose your life and end up in hell. Churches that are using things of the world. You pastor that you feel that you have something, be careful. Not only that, examine yourself. Examine your life so that you will not live or evil and end up in hell. God bless you. God be with you. This is a short message I, the Lord has given to me to the church. Check yourself. Our God cannot change his standard because of you. He cannot change who he is because of you. He cannot deny to be God because of you. He cannot deny his holiness because of you. No matter who you are, he remains God and will forever be God. He will judge accordingly. It's a great standard. I pray you will not go to hell. In Jesus' name. God bless you and God be with you. Don't just go without subscribing. Subscribe to this channel and press notification button. Bless you and God be with you. Bye-bye.